Geo Cloud is a global communication service provider which provides developer friendly and powerful SDKs and APIs to build many communication features such as video call, voice chat, live streaming, video conference, and much more. As you can see here, they provide pre built UIs so that we can we don't need to spend much time building UIs from scratch. They'll provide a pre built UI code which you can copy paste and develop rapidly. Here you can see they provide one on one call kit, group call kit, video conference kit, live streaming kit, and a 20 plus pre built device. Much more. They also provide SDK. SDK is for people who are going to build from scratch. And they also offer first 10,000 minutes free. And there is no catch for credit card here. You don't need credit card to start yet. Okay, guys, let's start building. It will redirect us to the console. Here you have to register as I already registered. I'll log in. I'll pass the I'll pass the video for a second. I'll log in and then I'll resume. Once you logged in, it will redirect you to the admin console. Here you can view your analytic dashboard, statistics, projects, and other things. Here, as you can see, we have you placed zero minutes out of ten thousand available minutes. Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we are going to be, I guess this will be the last video. So we are going to implement the profile screen, final screen, and we are going to implement the logout functionality as well. Fine, let's start building it. Let's go to profile screen, and yeah, we are going to import a couple of things as well. You can yeah use other PNGs here. Press build to send it. Fine. Let's start building it. Changes with safe area view. Mm, we are going to import the navigation drop as well. Use effect. Navigation dot set options. Header title. Let's hit save. I guess there is some error. None of these files actually features for context. Features for context. Yeah. Now it should work. Style sheet doesn't exist. Yes, we don't require style sheet for this. As we are using Tailwind. Profile, profile screen. Perfect. Let's replace this with normal view and inside that we will create another one more view and again a view inside that we are going to create a image source this user and class name We will give this a uh, height of 32 units and width of 32 units and object cover class name border and border slate of 200 let's save and check mm, it would be good if it is rounded I mean rounded LG Let's see class name background white height 
full padding is justify between let's save yeah now it's looking good can that's a small mistake you have to create a one more view class name of margin top of 16 units justify center and items center let's save yeah now it's looking good you may keep the border as two as well yeah now it's looking dark and it would be good if the header is aligned the center aligns center let's save yeah now it's looking good and here i guess we are logged in right now yep we are logged in yes so what we are going to do here is we are i mean we are going to create a view to display our e email if the user is logged in you can display the name also text a uh, one more text here you can display the user name as of now let's give it as test and tested test.com let's say yeah let's style this a little bit class name of item sena and justify center and we add a little bit margin on the top margin top of 6 units let's save yeah now it's looking good now let's start styling this text text of large size and we are going to give a font of bold color sorry bold variant class name text small and then font bold and text gray 500 let's save yeah now it's looking good and now we are going to add a button to log out pressable font bold text white and text center possible a class name background of black with full and padding rounded lg as here we are going to add a class name justify center and items center let's save yeah now it's looking good and now let's create a logout functionality let's go to firebase user auth
let's create a one more function export cons log out so asynchronous one just use sign out uh, then return success of true yeah let's save this and let's go to profile screen and let's create a function to handle logout before that let's pull some context state over here current user is logged in set is logged in to use context auth context then cons handle logout this is a asynchronous function so cons is await logout if res dot Yeah, if pressure such as equal to true, then we are going to show a toast logged out successfully, and then we have to position it in the bottom. Set is logged in to false. Let's save and before that we have to hook it up with this pressable on press handle logout. I guess that's it. We are done with this. Let's check logged out successfully. Now let's implement a little bit conditional rendering over here. If the user is logged in, it has to show the email and the name otherwise it should show login to viewer credentials yeah is logged in if it is true yeah and if it is false it should show just copy paste whatever it did in card screen and Order screen login to viewer profile. Hit save. Yeah, now you can see login to viewer profile. And this thing it should only be visible. The logout button should only be visible if the user is logged in. Otherwise, there is no purpose in displaying logout button. Let's save. Let's refactor this. Yeah, now it's not showing. Let's go over here. Let's go to home screen. Yeah. Mm, let's see. Here yeah, a little bug is here. So go to home screen. Here. Welcome. current user dot name yeah let's refresh it this error is caused because of some internal issue it will get resolved once you restart the server i'll just restart my server and resume my video uh, it's reloaded now we are going to fix some bugs previously even if the user is logged out we can see the test name over here that's because the current user was didn't set to null now what you are going to do is when the user is logged in we are going to set the current, the current user as null.
perfect and one more bug is it should display the current user's name current user dot name and current user dot email i guess we are done with everything let's save now the user is not logged in yeah now you can see we can't view anything now let's log in test 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 dot com one two three four five six let's log in yeah now we are logged in successfully now you can see now the user is logged in we can we are seeing this name here let's buy something let's buy this blazer let's buy two of this add to cart item added to cart now we can see the two items are here and the total price is got updated let's place order yeah now the order is placed successfully let's head over here yeah now you can view the orders including within with the order id we can view everything and here profile is there we can see the name and the email once we click log out everything will be logged out yeah now you can see that that bug got fixed and that's it guys thanks for watching this video i hope you like this series of building a modern ui e-commerce just show your support and love through in the comments and let me know what to build next in the comment section thanks guys thanks for watching this video i hope this tutorial brought some value to your development